हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand base current and input resistance, emitter current and input resistance, relationship between the base resistance and emitter resistance, and voltage gain. First, let us understand base current and input resistance, which is R B and R pi. R pi is nothing but base resistance, which is R B. We know I B. which is total base current can be written as total collector current ic divided by beta let us call this as equation number 1 total collector current ic can be given as capital ic plus small ic this equation we can write it as ic which is total current can be given as capital ic plus small ic we can write it as ic divided by vt into vbe let us call this as equation number 2 so this equation we have already derived in our previous video where we have found ic is equal to capital ic divided by vt multiplied with vbe let us use equation 2 in equation 1 so we can write I capital B will be equal to I C divided by beta plus I C divided by beta into V B E divided by V T. Since in equation one we have total collector current divided by beta, that's why this equation is divided by beta. Let us call this as equation number three. We know. total base current is equal to capital ib plus small ib let us call this as equation number 4 if we compare equation 3 and 4 we can say small ib is equal to ic by beta into vbe divided by vt therefore we can write small ib is equal to ic divided by beta into vbe divided by vt now ic divided by vt we can write it as gm therefore we can write ib is equal to gm divided by beta into vbe this is the expression for ib from the above equation we can write ib divided by vbe is equal to gm divided by beta so we can write the above equation as vbe divided by ib is equal to beta divided by gm so here vbe divided by beta is nothing but the base resistance that can be written as r pi therefore we can say r pi is equal to beta divided by gm so this is the expression for base resistance we can write r pi in one more way we can write r pi is equal to beta divided by in place of gm we can write it as ic divided by vt so we can write ic divided by vt so we can write this expression as beta into vt divided by ic since ic is equal to beta ib we can write ib is equal to ic divided by beta and 1 by ib is equal to beta divided by ic so in place of beta divided by ic we can write it as 1 by ib therefore we can write r pi is equal to vt divided by ib this is the alternate expression for 
base resistance R pi. Now let us understand emitter current and input resistance which is IE and RE. We know IC can be given as alpha IE here alpha is nothing but current gain factor or current amplification factor from collector to emitter. So the value of alpha will be 0 0.99 to 0 0.995. So sometimes we say alpha is approximately equal to 1. From this equation we can write IE will be equal to IC divided by alpha. Using this equation we can write total emitter current will be equal to total collector current divided by alpha. So we can write total collector current as IC plus small IC divided by alpha. So we can write IE is equal to 1 by alpha into capital IC plus IC divided by VT into VBE. So we can write IE is equal to IC divided by alpha plus IC divided by alpha VT into VBE. Let us call this as equation number 1. We know total emitter current can be given as IE plus small IE. Let us call this as equation number 2. Comparing equation 1 and 2, small IE is equal to IC divided by alpha VT into VBE. So we can write IE is equal to IC divided by alpha VT into VBE. IC divided by VT, we can write it as GM. That's why we can write IE is equal to GM divided by alpha into VBE. So we can write IE is equal to IC divided by alpha VT into VBE. This is one expression for IE and IE is equal to GM divided by alpha into VBE. This is one more expression for IE. From the above expression we can write VBE divided by IE which is nothing but RE as alpha VT divided by IC. So this equation we can write it as alpha divided by gm. Since Vt by Ic we can write it as 1 by gm. So we can say Re is equal to alpha divided by gm. So this is the expression for Re. If we take alpha as approximately equal to 1, we can write Re is equal to 1 by gm. So this is the expression for Re. Now let us understand the relation between R pi and Re. We can write R pi is equal to VBE divided by IB and Re is equal to VBE divided by IE. So from the above expression we can write VBE is equal to R pi into IB and VBE is equal to RE into IE. Since LHS is same, we can equate both the equations. So we can write R pi into IB is equal to RE into IE. So from this equation, we can write R pi is equal to IE divided by IB into RE. IE divided by IB, we can write it as 1 plus 
beta and we can write re so this is the expression for r pi so this is how we can relate r pi and re so we can write r pi is equal to 1 plus beta into re we can write voltage gain is equal to output voltage divided by input voltage so in case of bjt as an amplifier vc is the output voltage and vbe is the input voltage so we need to find the expression for vc divided by vbe to find the expression for gain we know the total voltage vc can be given as vcc minus icrc so this is total collector voltage will be equal to vcc minus total collector current into collector resistance so we can write the above expression as vc is equal to vcc minus so total collector current can be written as ic plus small ic into rc so we can write the above expression as vc is equal to vcc minus ic rc minus small ic into rc so if we group these two terms we can write vcc minus ic rc as capital vc therefore we can write the above equation as vc is equal to capital vc minus ic rc in this expression this is the dc component and this is the ac component which is nothing but small v small c therefore we can write small vc is equal to minus ic rc ic can be given as gm vbe so with a negative sign into rc which is nothing but a small vc therefore from the above equation we can write it as vc divided by vbe is equal to minus gm into rc so vc divided by vbe is nothing but voltage gain that can be given as minus gm into rc so we can write the above equation as av is equal to minus ic divided by vt into rc so here in place of gm we have written it as ic divided by vt so these are the expression for voltage gain this is about base current and input resistance emitter current and input resistance relationship between base resistance and emitter resistance and voltage gain hope you have understood the topic thank you